Hello, and welcome to ECTV's news broadcast. I'm Rachel Little. And I'm Tommy Kulkowski. We're bringing you the campus news for the week of September 9th. This week, the Bauer Center is holding previews for the group fitness classes being held this semester. Classes include Zumba, spinning, Tabata, and more. Keep a lookout for the schedule. On Wednesday the 11th, the College Store is holding an E-Town Spirit Sale. All gift, clothing, and logo items are 20% off. Students can also participate in the Way Down Backpack Contest. Whoever guesses the closest weight of the stuffed backpack wins a backpack of their choice. Also this Wednesday, Dr. Jeffrey Long is hosting a meditation group at 11 in the morning on the fourth floor of the High Library. Students should also check out the activities fair in Thompson Gym from 3 to 5 that afternoon. On the 12th, the first French Conversation Hour will be held from 4 to 5 at Folklore. Join students and faculty for a casual conversation to practice your French. The Conversation Hours are held every other Thursday at the same time and place. Also on Thursday, Mark Loudon will talk at the Brown Book Award Lecture at 7.30 p.m. in the Booker Meeting House. Loudon will be talking about his book, Pennsylvania Dutch, The Story of an American Language. Contact the Young Center for more details. On Friday, another author will be on campus. This time, the Bowers Writing Wing is hosting Jason Mott at 7 p.m. in the Brinzer Lecture Hall. He will read from his new novel, The Crossing, and talk about working with celebrities. As a reminder, Friday the 13th is the last day to register for the International Peace Symposium. The symposium is Saturday, September 21st from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the Susquehanna Room. This year's keynote speaker is Dr. Richard Hughes, who will talk about his book, Myths America Lived By, White Supremacy and the Stories That Give Us Meaning. Students interested should register on the website for Harrisburg's World Affairs Council. Friday is also the last day to submit internship contracts. And as a heads up, students have until next Friday the 20th to submit past no pla past class forms. Students interested in the fall break service trip should note that applications are now available. This year, students will join Lend a Hand in rebuilding homes in Point Pleasant, New Jersey that were damaged in 2012 by Hurricane Sandy. Contact the Center for Community and Civic Engagement. That's all for today, Jays. We'll be back next week with more campus news. I'm Tommy Kulikowski. And I'm Rachel Little. Have a great week, and remember to take, take flight, flight E-Town. E